Okay, it's the sand dollar here. It is 4.25 Sunday afternoon, the uh, 4th, I think it's the 4th. Came down to do some metal detecting. Uh, it's low tide right now, and it looks like high tide, man. We got a northeast wind blowing in about 13 miles an hour, and it's, it's pushing the water up next to the dunes. Uh, I'm going to try to get down there before it gets any higher and do a little metal detecting. Now low tide is tomorrow morning at 5.32. So it should give me a couple hours of metal detecting in the morning that I can get on the beach and actually metal detect um, before it gets real high if the wind dies down. Um, Boy, I tell you, you know, we got bike week starting this coming Thursday. Spring breakers are here. Of course, it's been windy and cold all weekend. There ain't been a whole lot of people on the beach. But, uh, let me get going and see what I find. Let you know if we hit a target. Okay, uh, I was only able to hunt for about a half hour, 40 minutes. The wind chill coming out of the northeast is about 48 degrees and it's just so cold and windy. And uh, it's low tide right now and looks like high tide. So, till this wind quits and we start getting some warmer weather, there wasn't a lot of people on the beach this weekend anyway. Uh, we're supposed to get nice weather uh, tomorrow, Tuesday, and then another cold front Wednesday or Thursday and then chill back down. So it's really screwing up the holiday season for uh, spring breakers. Um, there was another metal detector down here, young kid just learning. He had a bounty hunter, which is not a bad machine to start with. It's a pretty good machine. And uh, he did near the water's edge. And uh, he came across a couple quarters. So I'm happy for him. But that proves my theory I had the other day that everything's washing down close to the water's edge. Now, uh, with this northeast wind pushing up extra high tide, uh, tomorrow's low tide's at 532. So I won't be able to get to the beach till 7. So, and like I said, right now it's low tide but looks like high tide. So I don't know if I'll be able to get on the beach tomorrow, but uh, the water's edge is where to go. Uh, like I said, everything's washed down because of the way the uh, weather's been and the beach has changed since uh, the storms last year. So I don't know how much of the water's edge there is to do. Like right now, it's low tide, but there ain't a whole lot of water's edge. I mean, it's. It looks like high tide, man. Super high tide. So, anyway, I'm not going to post this video. I'll wait and add to it tomorrow. So, uh, when you get to the end of part one, just hang in there because part two is right behind it. Okay, it's the sand dollar here. It is uh, Wednesday. Oh, uh, let's see, 4th, 5th. Six, the six, and uh, finally was able to get on the beach for a few hours. We still got tropical storms just pounding our coast. So anyway, I come across this piece of jewelry. It's not gold. Um, some kind of little, I don't know, uh, brooch or something. But uh, I've only been here about five minutes. So uh, like I said earlier. Because of the tropical storms, everything is washed down uh, toward the water's edge. So that's where I'm hunting this morning. Let you know if we hit another target. Okay, I just come across a rosy dime. 2005. Uh, it's buried about four inches deep in the wet sand. So I'll let you know if we hit another target. Okay, I just come across another dime about four inches deep in the wet sand. Uh, supposed to have been low tide at 7.30 this morning, but looks like high tide and it's coming in quick. 
Uh, this storm's supposed to blow out of here today. Uh, it's going to be cold for a few days, but about a weekend warm back up and things supposed to get back to normal. Sort of hope it does. Anyway, I'll let you know if we hit another target. Okay, I just come across another dime in the water's edge about four inches deep. Uh, looks like a dime day, but hey, they add up, you know. I know I can't wait for this uh, beach to get back to normal and all this tropical storm goes away. Uh, a lot of it's cold fronts coming down from up north and really messing up our tides and the beach. And there are targets here, but you know, some of them are way out in the water's edge. I mean, it's supposed to be low tide now. It looks like high tide, so. All right, I'll let you know if we get another target. Okay, I come across my first Donald Trump penny for the day. Buried about uh, three inches deep. It's old and crusted and ain't worth a flying fuck. So you can tell it's a Donald Trump penny. So I'll let you know if we hit another target. Okay, I want to give y'all a quickie update here. <clears throat> They're going to keep the beach closed all day because of high surf advisories and yeah, it's supposed to be high tide at 1230. It's supposed to be low tide now and it's, you'd think it's normal high tide. You know, it's like I said, over the past several weeks with these storms really washed a lot of our beach away beach erosion of course you picked a bad time of year to do all this because we got spring breakers here and uh massive well we got bike week starting thursday so you know weather conditions uh, this last cold front just passed through and you can feel the temperature dropping so being there's no cars allowed on the beach today you're not going to see there's not going to be a lot of people on the beach unless they walk and uh, being it's getting cold they ain't going to do that so uh you know i'm hoping well they're saying by this weekend it's supposed to start warming back up all these cold fronts are supposed to be gone and things will be getting back to normal well, I sure hope they do because it's messing up metal detecting, not just for me, but for other detectors too. I mean, us hardcores are probably out here like me, but I haven't even seen many of them. So either I'm half crazy, which I know that, but. So. I don't know how much longer I'll be on the beach today, but I'll do a wrap up and probably wait another three or four days before I come back till weather clears up and we get a little bit of beach traffic back. I um, mean, you know, there are some targets, but they're out deep in the water where everything's washed down. So, and there's no way to get to it with these, these uh, uh, extremely high tides. You know, there's just no way to get to them. So, um, probably wait three or four days before I come back metal detecting. So, as soon as I do a wrap up, that'll be it for a couple days. Okay, I just come across a quarter, first quarter of the day, and you can see it's green, man. So, I'm sure it's a modern quarter. Can't see the date or nothing on it. It's so green and corroded. But there again, it was in the wet side of the beach. Like I said, everything's washed down since these storms we had. So I'll keep detecting for a few more hours. See what else I can come up with. Let you know if I hit another target. Okay, I'm gonna do a wrap up here. Uh, got a piece of junk jewelry, some kind of brooch. One quarter, and it's green and crusted. 
three dimes right there and a crusted up Donald Trump penny. That's it for today until the weather and the beach gets back to normal, which is supposed to be this weekend. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe and talk to you soon.